Okay, well, uh, let's try this one. Um, this one just uh, follows those rules that we just talked about, about um, atoms wanting to obey the octet rule. So uh, remember that uh, wherever you are on the periodic table, it kind of determines whether you want to go backwards or forwards uh, in gaining or uh, losing electrons. So um, all you got to do, again, is just look at the periodic table as your cheat sheet here, and um, it'll tell you what the most probable charge is. So um, you look at uh, the number of valence electrons each of these has. So um, let's just do that. see if it would be easier for me to get to 8 or 0, if, or easier for the particular atom to get to 8 or 0. So how many valence electrons does potassium have? Well, 1, right? Calcium's got 2. Aluminum's got 3. So remember, we want to have a full octet or have no valence electrons or 8 valence electrons, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, bromine has got seven. Sulfur has six, right? And phosphorus has five. So this is kind of a really good problem. It's um, a good uh, array of atoms. So you can see, um, and in fact, whenever you got like alkali metals or alkaline earth metals or halogens or whatever, you know. They all obey essentially the same principle. So they all have the same number of valence electrons, you know, so they're all going to make essentially the same uh, ion, preferably. So anyways, uh, let's go with that assumption and say, well, is it easier to get to 8 or 0? So, so 0, we'll, we'll say, we'll do it this way. Which is easier? Zero or sorry. <laughs> Let's do it this way. Zero or eight. Okay? So here it's gonna be zero, right? Here again it's gonna be zero, and here, well, it takes five. Uh, to get to 8, or 3 to get to 0, so 0. Here, 3 to get to 8, so it's going to be 8, right? 8 and 8. So, you can determine the charge by how many electrons you lost to get to that number, or how many electrons you gained to get to that number. So, here we gain 1 electron, right? Because um, 8 minus 7 is 1. So, or if you want to do it this way, 7 minus 8 equals negative 1. So that's the charge you're going to have. If you know about Lewis structures, right, bromine's Lewis structure was that, and then you added an electron, so it's octet, give it a negative charge. Okay. So 6 minus 8 equals negative 2. So that's what you're going to have here. And in fact, if you look at the Lewis structures of all these ions, they're going to have that full octet. And what do you think here? Obviously, right? 3. So 3 minus. And remember, in chemistry, it's um, conventional to write these backwards as 3 minus 2 minus, well, you don't write a 1. Okay, so here, right, we had 1 electron or 2 electrons or 3 electrons, right, and we went to 0 electrons, so 1 minus 0, or 1 minus 0, that's going to be plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, right, because we're going to lose those electrons. So we went from this, right, to having no electrons in all of these guys. But since we 
lost that one electron, we gained a charge. We gained a positive charge. Lost two electrons, two plus. Remember, no one. And it's convention to write the two first. And here, three plus. Okay. So that's a pretty good um, survey of the periodic table. Um, cool.